How do you take colors? Can you even imagine a world without it? There are only seven colors which flow in the entire biosphere. Have you noticed one color more than seven or less than that? Why do you notice these colors? In the paintings, dyings, printings, the vibrant skies, flowers, animals, everywhere. We can see seven colors on a rainbow. But guess what? There are places on earth with those seven same colors as found in a rainbow and that too in the same sequence. Oh look, it's a feather having the same color as well as sequence as seen in a rainbow. There are seven colors everywhere. Let's talk about the microbial world. We found the seven colors everywhere starting from bacteria, algae, plants, consisting of fruits, plant pigments and flowers as well as other such as sponges, fishes, birds, animals, gems and many more. Have a look at the amazing bacterial world consisting of different colors. If that wasn't enough, here's a look at different colors of algae in this vibrant rainbow river. And of course, how can we forget the plant world which we witness quite often in our surroundings? Diving in underwater, we can still witness the seven colors in the form of those sponges and fluorescence in deep sea corals. Coming back to the surface. Here are the seven colors in the animal world. Even the seven chakras of our body showcase the seven colors. From seas to underwater to plain lands, these colors can be seen everywhere. That is mountains, water bodies and landscape. Not just the biotic components show colors. Take a look at those precious gems consisting of different colors. Here is a brief description of the history of our planet Earth, leading to today where we have so many of these vibrant colors. This goes from the first prokaryotes to modern human's advent. This chart depicts how the different colors of Vibgyor are trapped in microorganisms and they further flow to lower plants and lower animals which can again flow to higher plants and higher animals respectively. All this decompose at the final stage and assimilate in soils, minerals, mountains and other abiotic factors, thus giving these colors as well. The colors return to nature as a result and the cycle keeps going on and on. And thus, our thoughts can be concluded by these points. Color pass from one form to the other, as that can neither be created nor be destroyed. Colors were trapped by microbial plants in nature and then further passed to the animals and finally, the flow of colors can be seen from biotic to abiotic components of our biosphere. The color development of flora, fauna, and abiotic components of our biosphere was due to genetic and metrogeological evolution, respectively. <laughs>